to help boost the economy and trade, the Chilean government has sent its largest ever delegation of politicians and business leaders to the U.S. for the inaugural Chile Week USA. I spoke with Paulina Nazalaronda, Chile's Vice Minister of Trade, and I asked her about their primary objective. Chile Week is, is one of the key promotional activities around the world. It's, it's an, uh, strategy that we implemented uh, two years ago. Uh, we started with China, and we tried to, to do it in particular with the United States because our free trade agreement, which is absolutely consolidated after 12 years in place, so we prioritized this market as a, as a market to uh, come with our businessmen, with our exporter, with our SMEs, to try to show the new uh, supplies of goods that we have uh, for you. Well, you mentioned the free trade agreement with the U.S. And in 2003, the year before it was implemented, the U.S. exported $4 billion to Chile and imported $5 billion from it. Now, last year, whilst the volume has increased tremendously, the U.S. exported $15 billion and imported $9 billion. So there has been a trade surplus favoring the U.S. What is your reaction to that? As long as the trade increase for both parts, it's, it's very good for us. And uh, what we keep trying to do is actually try to decrease that uh, gap that we have between export and import. We are concerned, but, uh, but the increase is almost double, more than double. Uh, and during the last year, during the five year, it's the rate of increase is on average three or four percent of our export, which is uh, keep us happy. <laughs> A big volume increase, as you said, but Chile is already the world's largest exporter of copper, as well as blueberries, grapes, plums, prunes, trout, Pacific salmon. So where is there room for trade growth? Which sectors? In addition to the, the food, uh, food export, which is one of the main assets that we have, our plums, our, our apples, our onions, our cherries, uh, we came with a lot of uh, services provider. So we have with Chile Tech, with, the, with an industry that it's, it's trying to offer their services in technology, in innovation. So what we are trying to do is try to exchange information and try to make some uh, strategic alliance with American partners to, to try to improve this uh, sector, services. There has been an anti-globalization trend. Free trade agreements have been a point of contention, particularly in the U.S. presidential elections, both candidates, Trump and Clinton, indicating that they would oppose the TPP. How much of a concern is this? Well, concern is a lot because, it, to be honest, uh, with the United States, we always have the same approach and views regarding uh, liberalization, regarding trade, regarding the benefits that uh, trade provide. Why? Uh, Americans may think that uh, the way to grow is uh, leaving behind trade and openness and competitiveness. So we expect uh, the U.S. Uh, can approve uh, this important agreement for the region, not, not just for U.S. Well, if the TPP does actually get ratified, what does that mean for relations with China, which is Chile's largest trading partner and not a member of the TPP? We have a free trade agreement with China, and uh, we have an important relationship with them. This China is our main partner, so our bilateral relation, it's, I mean, it's going to continue the way it is. Uh, it, China is, doesn't oppose uh, to the TPP. They have been clear on that. Uh, we participate with China in many other international fora. For example, we are member of members economies of APEC, the Asia Pacific Economic Integration, and. Uh, in that fora, for example, we are discussing around having a free trade agreement of the Asia Pacific region. China is working with that. Certainly is. But the growth slowdown in China and the commodity slump has had a negative impact. How negative has it been? Well, it it's, has been huge because uh, our main uh, export is copper and our main buyer is China. So, it, of course, it implies a really huge uh, constraint in our budget, which implies us and imposes us uh, a challenge to be so uh, intelligent to try to address all the challenges that we have to the future with less uh, income. Well, copper is 
a big part of Chile's economy, 49% of total exports, and copper prices are about half of where they were in 2011. There has been talk of diversification away from copper. What is the government doing to be less dependent on it? President Bachelet uh, launched an agenda that is called productivity, innovation, and, and growth. So uh, that agenda and the productivity year is addressed to, to try to solve the problem of productivity and the impact that it has in our uh, diversification of our export. But which sectors do you think could diversify at a rapid enough pace to help offset that decline in copper? Services, for sure, trading services. This is one we have a, a, a huge and, and, and really comprehensive agenda to try to promote uh, trading services, professional services, technological services. Uh, we have uh, some uh, outsourcing services, offshoring, with uh, video, wheel, video, video games, video games and, and movies. We have a lot. We want, for the first time, an Oscar uh, during uh, this year. And was a, a short movie, it's called uh, The Bear Story, which is so nice. You see many, many different stories and many producers that are working to produce this kind of really good movies. And video games are also, we know that there's a, a couple of popular games around the world that are, are, pro, are provided by Chilean uh, engineers.